The ideal case for a VC is you have a founder that is going to be really good at running their own business, mm -hmm. and there's some unique edge that you can provide to help them running their business. Um, the reality is, is that that usually is not the case. Usually the investors that think they're the most value added are the most annoying and difficult to deal with. <laughs> and so the more that a founder says, I'm value add, or the more that a VC says, I'm going to add value, the more you should hear them say, I'm going to annoy the ever living crap out of you for the rest of the time that I'm on the cap table. And, and I think sweet that about it. it's really bad. And so I think our approach is more you know, we are going to invest in the company because we believe that that founder, or that group of founders, are the people that are going to grow this business. If we believe that we, Founders Fund, are necessary to make the business work, we should be investing in ourselves, not in the founders. And so, in some ways, the VCs that say they're the most value added are actually telegraphing to the founders that they think they're bad, and that actually the thing that's going to make them good is taking money from them rather than someone else. And I think that's kind of a betrayal of the entrepreneurial spirit that you should be having in the tech industry.